I've been comparing all the HDR options that we have discovered so far to determine which one is the best. Without a doubt, and it's very difficult, we're talking about SDR, HDR trick, Windows 11 Auto HDR. Of course, after we fix that with the ICC profile that I share with you, this reshade add-on that I'm using right now called Major Pain the Cactus with Lilium's inverse tone mapping, a special K, and of course, native HDR, which should be the best. Okay, let's be clear about that. Native HDR, if it is well implemented, or if it just have like a minor black level race or just a minor issue with the tone mapping or something like that, we can use this Lilium shaders and fix the native HDR, and that should be the best, okay? So let's, we're talking about auto HDR here. Let's be clear about that. And I would like to know if you have tested all these options, which one do you prefer? Which one do you think it is the best? So now for me, after all this time going back and forth, <laughs> again, this is tough because you cannot see the changes in real time. You cannot just go like, okay, Boom, SDR, HDR trick, boom, Windows 11, auto HDR, boom, major pain, the cactus, you know, special K. I have to close the game, set it up differently, so you forget. <laughs> I wish I had two PCs with two TVs, so I can see them side by side. It would make everything so much easier and so much clearer, okay? But I can still see the graph here, and this helps me a lot. Look at this right now. This is major pain, the cactus, HDR 10 uh, mod. Is reshade add-on basically. This is just flawless. Look at the black floor, it's absolutely perfect. We have perfect blacks, perfect contrast. Look at the brightness, this is just as bright as I can get it on my TV. It is perfect, like it, is, it just has zero defects. Like it cannot get better than this, basically. Maybe, you know, if the developer implements native HDR here, maybe, you know, the clouds might have more details. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I don't see them working very hard to, to add many details, but, you know, it, potentially it could look better with native HDR. But yeah, that's the best in my opinion, because you see, with a special K, you have to tweak the settings. And I was testing a special K and realizing that I was getting clipping. Like if I set it to 800, for example, for HDIG on my LG C1, which is 800 nits. If the max CLL is 800, I was getting clipping. Okay, and I've been tweaking the settings up and down. And, and the only way to get rid of that clipping is by reducing the max CLL to like five to 600 nits. And, you know, that's just not the best. I have to keep testing a special K. It has a lot of potential, but it just requires a lot of tweaking just to get it perfect, just to get it right. And this thing is just flawless. I mean, you don't have to tweak anything. <laughs> the only thing you have to do is just determine if the game, if the content gamma is 2.2 or sRGB. And sometimes it's as easy as opening the game menu. Look at this. You open the settings here on this game. Look at this. Gamma 2.2, it's right there. It's telling you that. And you will clearly see that, you know, if the game Gamma is sRGB and you use 2.2, you're going to be crushing blacks. It's going to be obvious. Like you cannot see in the darkness. You will see that you're crushing blacks, okay? So that's the only thing you have to change here. Basically, the brightness, depending on your display, and the content TRC, the, the Gamma 2.2 or sRGB. That's it. This is with the Lilium's inverse tone mapping and Major Pain the Cactus mod. So this is an add-on, let me show you. It's a reshade add-on called Major Pain the Cactus. Link in the description of the video if you haven't seen that. This is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> it's just, yeah, look at the graph. I mean, my camera cannot capture what I see in front of me, but you can clearly see this graph here. If you're familiar with this HDR analysis tool, you know this is flawless, <laughs> absolutely perfect. And also, I noticed that Unreal Engine games are especially very, very good with this mod because you you don't see it 
like you know sometimes you see the graph looking like uh, horizontal lines they are kind of segmented like there's like a, a space in between and that's because of 8 bits to 10 bits conversion uh, Lilium the creator of this um, HDR analysis tool he told me that that, that happens you see those things with when those conversions are going on but it seems like with Unreal Engine uh, games, the majority of them, do not say all of them, this Major Paint the Cactus mod is able to enable this HDR10 swap chain or something like that, which is basically 10 bits. Okay, So now this happens with a Special K too. And actually Special K has some... Um, you know, settings to do, you know, 11 bits remaster and, you know, 8 and 10 bits remasters and all of that. I cannot see the difference visually and I cannot see the difference on the graph either. So I don't see those options being beneficial. And the thing that really matters is the setup. And the setup here is just perfect all the time, consistently. I don't have to tweak any settings. So we also have the uh, Pumbo. Uh, advanced auto HDR shader that we can use. I have it here. Uh, same thing. It is very good. I have it here. This you see this advanced auto HDR. This also allows you to to set up uh, this this major paint the cactus mod. But again, it requires some tweaking. It's not as easy as this one, and the results are not gonna be better than this. It's just already perfect. Like why would you? you know, struggle trying to get, you know, the contrast right and the black level. If you can just use this and it's like, boom, it works. <laughs> That's it. Play your game. It looks amazing. That's the thing with this mod. It's just, look at that. It's just a beauty. <laughs> it's so flawless. So, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, I mean, a special K also has an option to force HDR10. I tested that option, but I still need to figure out the hierarchy. The, the the order like if if reshade being used inside a special k is acting before special k or after so when i force the hdr 10 i can use the same lilium's inverse tone mapping and it should work the same as this but it is not working like that for me i haven't been able to figure out how to make it work exactly like this and when i use the lilium's inverse tone mapping it is not working right it's not it's cutting the brightness uh it's not working right so i might figure that out in the future uh, and i will make a video about it and it might work the same as this but again as to install special k and reshade is more stuff than just to install reshade <laughs> you get what i'm saying oh, of course special k is very useful you have some latency uh, settings there and things that you can do so you might still want to use a special k but this is just so much easier. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have tested all these options. And also, I wanted to ask you, I mean, if you've been following the channel, if you watched all these videos, or some of them, I mean, I have a lot of videos. I mean, I'm sure you don't need me to make HDR settings video. Like, you know, let's say I'm going to make a video with uh, Lords of the Fallen. Okay, if I have time Friday, I will do it. I have to do some stuff Friday, but I'll try to do it. If, if if I can install the game in the morning and make a video about it, I will cover the game. And of course, if the game has HDR, I will share the settings, even if it's just change the brightness a slider. Okay, and just use this HDR analysis tool, take a look at it. I will make a video about it, but. I don't think that it is necessary anymore for me to make HDR settings video. Like if you've watched all these videos, it is obvious. It's very, very easy to set up. And if the HDR is like super broken, do you have to do too, too much stuff? Just use one of these things. You say HDR, HDR trick, worst case scenario. So I don't feel like I have to do HDR settings video. Like for example, Lies of P came out and I have a Lies of P HDR settings which I did before having this Lilium's uh, shaders okay and I didn't have this you know Lilium's HDR black floor fix 
So I basically fix the black level and the contrast of the image with the PROD8003 curved levels shader. And now I know better. So I could make an update, but it is so easy that I don't feel like I, it's just not necessary I, to do that because, you know, if you've been using this, you open Lies of P and you look, you look at the graph and you're going to realize, oh, okay, well, the black level is a little bit raised. It's just use this. It's very easy. Just use Lilium's HDR black floor fixed shader. And you come here, you come down and you enable SDR black floor emulation. It's very easy. So when this doesn't work, you have to type in CSP here, CSP underscore HDR10. You'll see. So you come down here to this Lilium's HDR black floor fix and you enable SDR black floor emulation and that's it. That's all you have to do. And it works and make sure the other thing, if you have experience with this, you know that you have to move this to top for it to work. You see, it doesn't work if it is not on top. Look at the graph. When I move it to top, boom, it works. And the order is important. It is not the same if you use Lilium's HDR black floor fix before the inverse tone mapping or after the inverse tone mapping. It is not the same. So that's the lies of PHDR settings. Just use that. Done. Okay, you might you know fine tune it a little bit. Just look at the graph, look at the game. So I don't feel like I had to do a video to show that because I have I already showed up this thing. But I also understand that you know new people are discovering the channel every day. And you know, if you're new to the channel, you come in and you say, okay, this guy is talking about HDR, he probably knows. But, you know, 500 videos, like which one do I have to watch? <laughs> you know, I don't have time to watch 500 videos to figure this out. I also understand that, they, you know, we're getting new people. That's why I always say, you know, let me know if you have any questions. And I try my best to answer the question. If I see that many people are asking me about something, I might make a video about it. Like, for example, Cyberpunk. Oh, with the new Phantom Liberty? Is the HDR any different? No, it's the same. So a lot of people ask me, hey, you know, make another video about it. And I'm like, no, it's just the same settings. The settings that I recommend are still the, are still the best um, that I know of, okay? And I just did it like a community post or something like that. So, but let me know, man. Maybe I, I, sh I should, you know, keep making HDR videos. HDR settings video. I mean, I, I've... Really, I, I've never done that. Like, you know, when a new game comes out, just to tell you, um, you know, change the, the brightness slider and all of that. I've never done that a lot. I mean, I've done it, but it's not something that I've been usually doing. I've been focusing more in trying to share my understanding. So you can set up the settings. So for me, it is more important. It is more useful for me. It's a... Let's say I feel like it is a a better like victory, you know. If I am able to show you how you can do it yourself, instead of me just telling you, hey, you know, do this and that. For example, as a music teacher that I am, I don't I don't teach any songs. <laughs> okay, to my students, I don't teach them anything. <laughs> You're like what? <laughs> I teach them everything, not something specifically see so instead of me telling okay put the finger here and there and this is this song and you know these are the chord I, I i don't i don't focus on that i focus on teaching them how they can do it themselves so i don't teach them okay learn this a specific scale i show them that they do not have to learn or memorize any scale i show them that they know all of the scales already. It is within you. So the only thing that I do is to show them that. You, you can actually figure it out. <laughs> okay. So I just play a song and they realize, okay, I, I am able to realize that this note sounds good and this note doesn't sound good and this one sounds good. Okay, there, there you go. <laughs> I don't need to tell you, put the finger here and there. You can use your ear and figure it out. And that's so much more powerful 
That's why I've been focused on, on sharing the understanding. So you can figure out the settings. I don't have to tell you for each, each game that comes out, do this and that. If you watch the videos, my goal is that you should be able to... Okay, I understand it now. I get it. And you can do it yourself. Because maybe you're going to play a game that I am not going to cover. Because I am not interested in it. I am not going to play it. And then what are you going to do? You know, if, if nobody has... If you cannot find any videos online, nobody... You know? So, but let me know. <laughs> maybe I I should make those videos. Let me know. What, what do you think? Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, this is um, High on Life, the DLC. This is a top 10 game for me of all time. <laughs> okay. If you want to have fun playing a game, this is it. it. I mean, this is just hilarious. This is the, the funniest game I've ever played and nothing comes even close. If you want to laugh, <laughs> and it's not because they are cursing, because yeah, they're cursing all the time. It is hilarious. Just the the the, the, the person the, or the people doing the the script, the lines. It's just so good, so good. It is so so common that we see some games trying to be funny and they're not, and it, it becomes like, man, just better don't say anything. Like if you're just gonna be so bad. Just please don't say anything. This game is just one after the other. It's, it's just perfect. Humor. Sense of humor here is like a must. I mean, all this interaction of this guy speaking and see what this guy says. I can saying. find something that will help you out. And I found out that they play a sport here called Paroxo Squash. So if you see a Paroxo Squash court, go uh, check that out. Maybe it'll be helpful. I don't know if this is helpful or not. I'm just I'm just trying to be part of this mission and give you information. So don't fucking, don't get mad at me, all right? No, that was not funny. But, <laughs> but usually... Usually it's just amazing and I'm, and I'm laughing like all the way it's, and it, the gameplay is very fun too. Like we have now this, this, uh, like we're like, <laughs> you know, just like going on the, you know, the, the dodge button, this thing we, we dodge, you can use it to just travel and it's so fun. It's just fabulous game. I, I highly, highly recommend it high on life top 10 on my list for sure so yeah that was just a side note let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions <laughs>